this little instrument is called the iStat, and the one that we use is called the Chem 8 Plus. It does eight chemistry tests plus a glucose. So that's why they call it the Chem 8 Plus. It's very simple to work, and it requires a very, very, very small amount of blood. And that's why we use a 3cc syringe, and we use the butterfly needles, okay? To turn the meter on, you simply hit the on-off switch, okay? The first thing you're going to see is number one is last result, and number two is iStat cartridge. We're going to do number two, iStat cartridge. Now it tells you to scan or enter the operator ID. You don't have an operator ID, so you're just going to hit enter. Scan or enter patient ID. We don't have a patient ID, so we're going to hit enter. We do, however, have to scan the cartridge that we're going to use. You notice that there's a barcode on the cartridge. To scan the barcode, you merely hit scan and hold this in front of so I always have to do this this way. Okay. Now, you see the number was captured, and now it says insert cartridge. This cartridge is going to be good to go. This is what the cartridge looks like. Now, of course, you ladies are going to be wearing gloves when you do this, correct? Mm -hmm. So the cartridge, the well of the cartridge is right here. So you're going to take a very small amount of blood, and you're going to fill this well up to and including the circular area right here. Being careful not to overfill it because if you overfill it, when you close the door, it will order. rupture the cartridge, uh -huh. okay? Oh. And then you'll get an invalid result. So how do we know? Okay, you will know. I will show you, okay? I will show you. Once you do that, you're gonna take the cartridge and we're gonna put it in here just like this. All right. Now it says identifying cartridge. That takes about a minute and a half. It wants to make certain that this is this cartridge that we're using matches the software update that I have put into the machine. Okay. All right. Every four months, I get an update from Abbott, and I have to update the handheld. Okay. So it's going to identify this. Now we're going to get an error, obviously, because there's nothing in this cartridge. Once it identifies the cartridge, then it will do the testing of the blood, and in 120 seconds or two minutes, you get the result. Okay, so three and a half minutes together. Yeah. But remember that we're only going to do blood on people that have risk factors. So that's not going to be every person that we see today. Okay? The other thing that you have to do which is why you need two people, is that we have to write the names of the tests. We have to write the results here on these forms that we've created. And we need two of them. One, go on the, one goes on the back of the white copy of the form, and the other goes on the back of the pink copy of the form. So you put their name and, their, uh, and the date. You'll be able to fill in all of the information with the exception of the GFR, which we can calculate for them when we talk to them. Okay? So see, it's, I, here it is. Now it's calibrating. Time to the results. There's the 120. The machine is counting down. When it's doing all of this, you cannot remove the cartridge. It's locked in place. But as soon as it's finished, the cartridge comes right out.